Uplifting Way FM, this is The Wally Show, and we have the one and only Mr. Micah Tyler with us today. Hey, uh, Micah has been on a journey, and it, is it weird, like, if someone looks at you and goes, holy cow, you look amazing, because like, yeah. you've lost, what, how many How many pounds now? I, I, overall, I've lost about 104 pounds so far. What Woo! in the world? Yeah, about 50 over the summer, but yeah. That's trying amazing. Trying. Does it ever, like... Seem like it's almost like an insult. Like you look great. Like before, you were hideous. <laughs> like, what, what was wrong with you? Yeah, exactly. But no, you look really good. Oh, thanks. No, I compared to it. before, <laughs> <laughs> you were a complete slob. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. It's, those are those weird compliments that, like, yeah. I, but I want to tell you that your work has paid off. Well, I appreciate that. No, You're it's an it's That's the thing. I'm, I'm not. Uh, it's the fact that it's. I've, I feel better, which is good. Yeah, I'm good. also starving right now. Which is <laughs> but it's you know you, you take what you can. So it's good. What are you doing to lose the weight? Are you extra? Exercising and eating right? Or? Ma- ma- diet's the main thing we're trying to focus mm-hmm. on. And so I'm like on an insulin resistant diet. So it's like no sugars, carbs, fun, oh, wow. <laughs> that kind of stuff. And so doing that. And then I'm trying to just kind of stay active. So like when I come to Nashville, because I live in Texas, when I come to Nashville, I find my hotel and then I find a restaurant that I can eat at that's like a mile and a half away and I'll walk there. Oh, nice. Really? Yeah. Good for you. Because you guys have sidewalks in Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> Not a whole lot of paved product down in uh, Buna, Texas. Yeah. And so I was just really impressed with it. Do you, uh, you mentioned insulin like... Uh, or do you rock the diabetes? No, I okay. don't. It's just apparently well, something that I learned was is that through this nutritionist we're using right now, she said that yeah, when your body is at a certain body fat percentage and you allow insulin in your body, your insulin, their its job is to protect fat. Is what they, right. what they think it is. So, like, if I eat a piece of bread for the next three days, it will hold on to that bread. I don't care if I eat nothing but vegetables after that. It's going to hold on to that bread for three days going, like, he probably needs this Good later. Good to know. And then after three days, it kind of lets it go. Well, if you can get your body down to a healthy level, then it, like, it may take three or four hours for it to get out of there. So I'm uh-huh. getting, I'm trying to get to the point where I can just eat my bread and it can just get rid of itself whenever it's time. Huh. Now, you've said we twice. Now, is that the old you, and like, thinking <laughs> about how big you <laughs> yeah. were? Dear young we. me. <laughs> yes. No, uh, are my you wife and wife? I are doing it together. That's yeah. so important. It's very good. So yeah. important. because She's lost 45 pounds, too. So good on her. Well, yeah, we're really going yeah. at it. Because so. if you're trying to do it yourself, and then you've got that devil in your house yeah. that decides to not, like, are it's you hard. saying that the woman in your life is a devil? Is that what you're saying? Didn't depends. say that. I was just what depends I on the diet plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes really they're both pretty irritable. Yeah, exactly. Right. But and, but you it's need also a team effort. You, you need a team effort. And with the hard part's me traveling and stuff too. But like the band guys, the band guys are pumped because I get to eat like 12 ounces of protein every day. Well, That's the good. Easy, and I have a certain amount of vegetables I can have, like mm-hmm. a specific kind. So w- typically, the easiest place to go is like a steakhouse. Like oh, I can go, I can get a steak and I can get broccoli and have that on my diet. So my guys are That's pumped. Good. Yeah, you <laughs> my guys are. They're like. Are you kidding? We're gonna get to go to like a like go get steak again? It's like yeah. that's like it's like a real treat. So, but everybody's been super supportive and really encouraging. Our you know from uh, my my road managers calling ahead and being like, hey, can we make sure he has this and that? So I've been from Romania back to here and like all over the country mm-hmm. playing shows. But really, it's been I, people are rooting for it, so it's been helpful for me too. And my wife being at home doing it is yeah. Misery loves company at times. Yeah, absolutely, because <laughs> misery also loves Oreos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Now Gavin has lost what. How many are you up to? I'm now? up to 40 pounds Come over on. the course of the whole year. Yeah. That's good. And he's you like. You shave that beard, you'd be like 45. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's 4'11. So that, like. Come like, on now. That's <laughs> seven and we're accurate. Okay. That's great. But, like, so you have done the same thing. Like, you've you've worked hard and he stayed faithful. Like, while well, I'm over here, like, stuffing, like, Oreos and uh, Cheez Its in my mouth. He's like, no, I'm not going to do it. Is your wife doing it with you at home? She has tried. To do oh, it. that's yeah. bad. And a lot of times for her, she has a different schedule than me, and yeah. she honestly doesn't have as much to lose as sure. I do. Yeah, yeah. And that so was a good me, call to say that. I know. I'm a winner in that yeah. regard. <laughs> but it does sometimes, it is sometimes difficult because you do want to go in on a lot of stuff together. She wants me to go in together on like the ice cream and cake. Totally. Whereas I'm like, I'd love for us to go in on like the protein and the vegetable diet. Yeah. And it's harder when you're not quite on the same level. Totally. It's also really wonderful when they're like, you just want to be bad together. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. We could, we could split an ice cream. It's not a whole ice cream. It's half of an ice cream for <laughs> each other. My wife is the worst about that. Like, I've been trying, and my wife will be like, hey, do you want, because I love uh, dark chocolate caramel sea salted. She's like, hey, do you want one of these? I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Like, I'm feeling strong that day. She's like, oh, well... I mean, I kind of want one. I'm like, fine, let's go ahead. Well, it's not as much fun. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're undoing me. Absolutely. So, so we have a we we, we built our house right before the pandemic moved in. We got this neat little back porch back there. And so my wife and I go out there when the kids go to bed. We'll sit out there and we'll play like Uno or Phase Ten. Like, just kind of hang on the back porch together, play some music, just kind of chill. And like, it used to be centered around like like maybe we're like 
get a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll oh, get, yeah. like, whatever. Like, we'll kind of just eat here on the back porch. And so there's there are those nights, though, where it's kind of like, hey, I'll give in, you give in, yeah. and then we'll get back on it tomorrow. But having somebody to get back on it tomorrow has been real helpful. Mm-hmm. So that's been, she's, she's the one that's like, I think she's the catalyst in keeping this thing moving along. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious for you. Was there, what was the moment? I think everybody has their moment. Like when I walk up the stairs at a leisurely pace and I get to the top, I'm like, <gasps> yeah. like what was it for you? Was it like, okay, I'd like to see what my shoes look like on. You know, like <laughs> yeah, what was right, that exactly. moment for you that's like, I got to change this? So so for me, nobody really knows this, but like, uh, so 10 years ago, or 11 years ago, actually, um, I, my brother and I were almost on the TV show, The Biggest Loser. No, you were oh, not. No way. I love that <laughs> show. <laughs> so we're, we're watching the Super Bowl, and there was this commercial for, do you want to be the next Biggest Loser? I've always wanted to be so, on that show. So here's the deal. So they said, <laughs> you send in a video of your personality for five minutes, and we'll call you up, and maybe you'll be the next person to blah, blah, blah. And I turned to him, like straight up. I was, I was a youth pastor at the time. <laughs> yeah. He was a youth, in youth ministry. I just kind of said, that'd be fun, just yeah. like a video. So the next day, he, we screenshotted the, we took a picture of the, the screen, we had the address. We made a five minute video on a flip camera, just kind of like, just, and I made up a Justin Bieber song. I said, weigh me, weigh me, weigh me, oh. <laughs> we sent it in, didn't, like, honestly, forgot about it. Yeah. And we get calls from casting producers. Wow. And they were like, hey, we really like you guys, and blah, blah. So they brought us in. Anyways, we, we did some interviews and they, we kind of went home, no big deal. And then like a year later, they said, hey, we really want you on the show. So we went down there. We took pictures what? in the clothes. Really? No. We, they what narrowed happened? down to They narrowed down to 15 couples. It was, it was a couple season. Yeah. So, like, so my brother and I were on there. There's 15 couples. And they said, hey, tomorrow morning, we're either going to bring you to the ranch like to start filming the yeah. show or like we did we went to the doctor like we did everything oh and did I did wow. four hours of on-camera interviews the whole thing yeah. and then and they kicked you out when you're like you're, we're gonna bring you to the ranch and you're like do I get celery with that yeah. or chicken wings <laughs> right. no wrong ranch no, wrong okay. ranch yeah that's, that's right yeah that's true. that's true oh my gosh this is a great show <laughs> I like this program already uh, but no so they said the next morning we'll bring you to the ranch or we'll send you home and the next morning they brought us plane tickets and oh, we looked at the window no. and just saw a bunch of really happy overweight people going to the <laughs> boat and I was like, "What?" But maybe it's because you weren't big enough. I, well, no, I was. It was. It was. I was. I was a hundred pounds heavier than I am now. Tried so to I help was, you. I was. Right. <laughs> I was. I was me being a pal. No, that was you being a pal. But no, I was definitely in the demographic. So it was. I, it was working out. But no. So they. So they just said. So I went home and like probably put on another 15, 20 pounds then. And it was kind of. Yeah, because I was going. Because oh, the no. thing is, you kind of go like, man, this is gonna like save my life. It's gonna yeah. help. I had two young kids, the whole thing, and then I just realized I was like, I. I can't wait on somebody else to do this for me. Mm-hmm. So that's when I started like, and it started as simple as I gave up sodas, quit quit doing that, try to stay a little bit more active, drop like 20, 30 pounds. Yeah. And then I played with those those 40 pounds back and forth for a that's long hard. time. And then at the beginning of the summer, I was like, I just, I really just need to, but what's crazy is though, is that I'm noticing things now that I didn't notice then. So it's not as much as like, I've got to lose weight because of this. It's like now that I've lost some weight going like, I'd, I'm not sweating when I tie my shoes. That's not, yeah, <laughs> that is a big bonus. Like there's these things where I'm going like, wow, this is different. I, I yeah. actually played a show this past week, and we were in California, and and we start off the whole night with this like Jackson Five version, one of my songs. So the band comes up there and they say one, two, three, four, and they go into the song, yeah. and I wait until halfway through the intro, then I come trotting out there, whatever. Well, it's usually like ten feet. Well, I did not know how big the stage was. Yeah. So I get out there and they start gung, and I walk up being like, hey, and I look, and that microphone's like 40 feet away. <laughs> oh, and I just went, huh. So I run, I jump over the top of a thing, I'm running across, I'm going, hey, and I jump up there, and I start singing, and as I'm singing, I'm going like, I can breathe right now. Yeah. And that was just something that I was not accustomed to, and so anytime that I, like I've got like a workout vest, it's like 40 pounds, and I put that on, oh, wow. and it just puts things into like yeah, really? perspective where I go like, man, I can really, I, there's a difference in how I'm feeling with this on my chest right now than what it is normally, so. That's amazing. I don't know. Yeah, so a lot of it's like on the other side going like, well, I don't look like I just got through jumping rope in the attic right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, in a mink coat. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Instead of me just like, you know, walking out to the car or whatever. Yeah. So it's just different. But. That's now, amazing. a big question. You said you did this with your brother. Did he lose weight? So he's been on a weight loss thing too. He, he's he's a little behind me as far as that goes. But oh, he's, shade thrown. I know. I know. He's doing his own thing right now. But no, he's... He's, he's like he, he's like sending his brother Tiff's treats and all these cookies and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I've, I've got all these Girl Scout cookies I can't use anymore. <laughs> You want, you want them? <laughs> That's right. 
So uh, no, we're rooting him on his own pace right now. But yeah, so it's it's been a it's been a that was ten years ago, and so like I said, we we finally crossed the hundred pound mark uh, like a week and a half ago. That's and amazing. That was, yeah, it's crazy. Good for you. Good Thanks. for you. What would you like say to like the older version, or I guess like the bigger version yeah. of yourself? Though, kind of like this is prepare yourself for this, do this differently. What would you do or tell yourself well, to do I, differently? I think I'd have two main things to say. Number one. Um, I'd be like, it's this is not easy to no, do. No, no, like it's not easy. It's hard to do, and and it's but it's long obedience in one direction. Same way with us being believers. It's okay. like we're we're trying to take this one step at a time, moving in a direction, knowing that it's not the sprint, it's the marathon, and and both of them are going to make you sweaty and tired. <laughs> yes, so, but you but you just got to stay the course. And the other thing that I would remind myself of, and it's something I got caught up with, that I I got so hung up and going like, man, this future version of myself is going to be have more value mm, if I can sure. fix myself then. But the day that I stepped on the scale and I, I, I realized I lost 100 pounds, I remember just having this feeling of like I thought it was going to be like I was going to feel more love that day or I was right. going to feel like really accomplished. And I thought to myself, you know what? God loves me today just as much as he did 100 pounds ago. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not – I'm still the same person. So I would tell 100 pounds, go, Micah, like – don't find your worth in this because it's gonna. You're just gonna end up being. You're gonna be healthier. You're sure. gonna feel better, but you're not gonna be of any more worth to God. You're not gonna be. Your kids aren't gonna love you more in this. Like it's just like you still have to be who God called you to be on this day and just move forward and try to make healthier decisions because it's it's worth it in the end to be able to be there. But, oh, for sure. But yeah, so that was in a size thirty four pant, and that's good. Right. It's just a, it's a it's a much. I, I went from back wear Wranglers instead of Stranglers. <laughs> <laughs> 